down to accept the viewers award for me. It's been quite a farewell for Kenneth Small, who announced his retirement in April as police chief after 11 years as HB's top cop and 42 years in law enforcement. His retirement became effective this month. The Haunted Beach Chamber of Commerce said their thank you December 13th at Seacliff Country Club during the popular AM Connect. Where it was obvious the business community admires their veteran chief. He has indeed served Huntington Beach with honor. Well, I very much enjoyed uh, working with the chamber for 11 years. Uh, first got acquainted with Joyce Riddell and now Jerry Wheeler, but more important than the two of them, I've enjoyed the relationship with the businesses who are members of the Chamber of Commerce. Um, somehow seems like when they're in the chamber, we have a much closer working relationship, a way to contact each other, and, and I think an appreciation for the connection between public safety and businesses in our community. Our businesses contribute a lot to the city of Huntington Beach. We wouldn't be the same without them. And on a, on a personal note, as long as I've been here, when I'm uh, looking for a company uh, to do business with, I, I keep a copy of the chamber directory. At, I go to that directory every time. And if there's a company listed in there that I'm looking for, those are always the ones that I use. It was a farewell, but also an hello to new chief Robert Handy. The new chief already is on the business beat. So the safety in the community, the perception of safety in the community is very important to businesses. People need to feel comfortable walking in their neighborhoods, visiting and, and you know partaking in the local businesses. Um, so it's a very important relationship and I think the businesses also have an investment in the community. They like to provide uh, a way to give back and give back into the community and a lot of times the police department can partner in some of those uh, endeavors. Um, and there's a ton of energy in the room um, and I think that's representative of Huntington Beach and everything I've seen so far. I'm excited to be a part of that um, and I'm proud to be here. So thank Christmas to you too. Thank you. The Huntington Beach Police Department continues its successful legacy of positive community and business engagement. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome again to a great event here in Huntington Beach. Yes, it is. It's time for another ribbon cutting. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, we believe that Panera Bread and Huntington Beach are as much of a match made in heaven as a restaurant in the community can be. Uh, the, the demographics match up perfectly to what we do and who we serve, and uh, we're, we're just super excited to be here. I'm so excited about Panera here in Huntington Beach. I've a long loved Panera and I wish we had one in Huntington Beach. They have great fresh sandwiches, great bread, great soup, and I'm so happy that they're here. It's so great to be able to be here as a former business owner, to open a new business and, and see economic development happening in Huntington Beach. Um, we're recovering from the re Great Recession and I'm just here to open up another restaurant creating more jobs. All of our locations are community-based. Uh, we're very excited again about being right across the street from Huntington Beach High School. We're already participating with some of the sports teams and the PTA, and uh, we do that in, in all of our communities where our other bakery cafes are located. Uh, we also donate all of our leftover breads at the end of the evening and sweets and bagels to the Second Harvest Food Bank of Orange County. Breaking bread is a sign of friendship. So at Panera Bread, we break bed and we have baguettes served to all of our customers. What a way to welcome everybody. Very welcoming gesture, a great way to open up a new business. Oh my gosh. Let's break some bread. Cheers. <laughs> Long time since I've cheered anything. It's delicious. Come try it.